Welcome back to Hometown Heartbeat. I am Zach Walker, your big, beautiful, bearded host, checking in with producer Connor, DJ Dallas, joining us uh, this morning via the telephone. What's up, buddy? Hey, nothing much, man. Just, uh, you know, up and back on the grind. Yeah, I hear that. Listen, I uh, just want to let you know, everyone misses you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I miss it there, too. Um, you know, I think I think about y'all every day. Well, it's just so sad. Yeah, I was it's about sad, to say, if, if it sounds like tears are coming from the, that, that, <laughs> that cute little face of yours there, buddy. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm all right. I'm so, all right. It how, is sad, though. It how's is sad, the new job working out? Everybody, everybody wants to know. Yeah, it's going it's going real well. Um, you know, I'm I'm still kind of getting trained up, but um, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's going well. Um, learning a bunch of different paperwork and stuff, but um, learning, so it's it's going it's going well. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, okay, so uh, Cotter is easing his way back over here to the microphone. We're going to do a word of the day segment. Um, I think all of us may have slightly forgotten how this goes, but uh, we're just going to give her a go anyway. So what uh, what did you bring to the table for us today, Dallas? All right, so earlier you asked me, you know, how my morning's going, and I thought about just bringing it in there, but we're going to hold, hold off to right now, and I'm going to say that my morning is Gucci. I'm doing Gucci this morning. That's my word of the day. Okay, so we've we've used it in a sentence. I'm Gucci. Okay, Connor, what's the part of speech? Uh, that's an adjective. That's an adjective. So it describes a person, place, or thing. Mm-hmm. I've been doing Rosetta Stone. You know, no, I'm kidding. I'm not. For English? Yeah, for English. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think you need to. Yeah, probably. So okay, so I'm Gucci. But and then I think you asked Connor if he knows what that is. Yeah, but I, I mean, I so I've it. actually heard this one. Believe it or not, used in this okay. context. Yeah, it's a brand. It's a brand of clothing. So everybody, everybody's heard of Gucci. Yeah, there's the brand, but then there's using it in the way that Dallas is. using Oh, so it. It's, you're not saying like I'm wearing Gucci? No, this is this is this is different. Zach. This is different. This oh. is different. So the way that you're using it, it would be a noun. So but for instance, then I could say it. I'm Dockers. Yeah, but nobody's gonna know what you're saying. You know, like, what, how's like, your what morning? It's Dockers. I like that. I actually like that a lot. I actually like that too. I'm not gonna lie. That's, hey, that's man, not... how, how's your evening? I'm Fruit of the Loom. Uh, I'm not sure about that one. No, no, <laughs> you lost me on that one at least. But um, no, so Gucci, it's like it's like you know you're doing well. Like everything's going good for you. You know. So I you're got a chilling. question. Why would you not just say I'm doing well? It's a whole lot easier than I'm Gucci. It's one. It's one less syllable. It's. Uh, it doesn't sound stupid. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of benefits there. I think. I think just maybe like the rest of the words that I bring, it's just different. You know, it's our generation trying to be different, and um, so yeah, we're just hey, we're modernizing the English language. Mo- modern, modern. Oh my gosh, <laughs> my feelings are hurt. Um, if you're listening to the show and you've got you know, if you've got children that are um, young and, and stupid, like uh, uh, no, I'm kidding, uh, that are modernizing the English language, and you want to give us a call one eight six six four nine four nine eight six six eight six six four nine four WVNN. Uh, we'd love to hear how your daughter or son uses the term Gucci at the dinner table, not referring to a brand. And I've instituted a new rule: you can insert any brand name into how you're feeling today and be appropriate for the modern generation. How are you today? I'm Levi's. Nah. Nah. Uh, I think I think that you did your best work at Dockers. I think, I, and yeah. I think after that is. I'm Nike. Dockers sounds I think it sounds kind of like bonkers. So it kind of already sounds like an adjective. Okay. Well, we're going to we're gonna start using that here. I'm Dockers. What does what does it mean? Does it also mean good or? I haven't decided. I'm, I, gonna, I I'm it, gonna modernize the word Dockers. Because Dockers, I tend to think of Jake from State Farm. Yeah, just a just a boring kind of brand. Yeah, when I think of Dockers, I think of Mr. McCluskey up there in St. Louis running around with his AR-15. <laughs> yeah, people who wear Dockers are. Uh, they're doing good, but maybe they don't have everything figured out. Uh, did you, Dallas, I, well, I, I'm going to ask you this question. I know that you didn't because you weren't up at 5 o'clock this morning, but my son um, my son called me a name yesterday. He called you a maid? A name. <laughs> oh, listen, and what he, right, what listen, he called you? Listen, listen. Bye, and my dad weird. Bye, and my dad weird. 
my dad's weird. I'm like, the, okay. son, we're on a video here. Like, okay, we're in the public eye right now. I'm a public figure, in case you didn't know. <laughs> yeah. Do you do that on the live stream? Yeah. Uh, my dad weird? <laughs> yeah, just straight up. Just. Uh, my dad weird? Like, I, easy killer. What? I mean, I. It sounds before, like you call, I don't. Maybe I'm wrong, but it sounds like he's calling you a quitter over the phone. Uh, oh, it, it, uh, <laughs> oh! I know what you're trying to say, and it's not quitter. And I, I, I hear you. Uh, let me hear. Bye, and my dad weird. Did you hear it better that time? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Thank God. He's, was, hey, he, look, he's throwing, he's throwing you out there now. I mean, he, I, he's not he wrong. He, he okay. probably knows. He's gonna. He could probably expose you. Oh, he would def. No, what have I said? Having a child is like looking in a mirror at all times. <laughs> For long, he'll be calling you Dockers. Oh gosh! Let me, let me tell you what's never going to happen in my household: Gucci, Forf, Turnt. That's never going to happen because no, it'll be, by the it'll, time by the time Zayden gets older, there's going to be a whole new vocabulary. Well, if that's the case, you know how everything old becomes new. They'll start saying stuff like tubular again or something. Like you'll be like, "Dad, this is totally tubular," and then I have to beat him. So like what 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 is like new? What is old that is new? Or like what is being brought back today? Oh, like no, like fashion trends exactly, are yeah. are they run in a big circle, and so language does yeah. is, does similar things. Uh, I mean, life it life itself does that. It's a it's a big it's a circle. God, every just time. like we have Dallas back on the show. Yeah, that's right. Old is becoming new. Bye, okay. And my dad weird. <laughs> so. Uh, all right, Dallas. I appreciate it, buddy. We love you, man. Um, do not, hey, do not give up. Fight the good fight. Okay. Hustle till yeah. it hurts, and go have a Gucci day. All right, thank you. Y'all yeah. have a y'all have a Gucci day too. I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs> all see right, you, Dallas. We'll see you.